Hi, thank you for watching uh, the DIY guy. Today we're working on how to bullnose your walls. Now, if you have straight corners like this, uh, and some of you may be thinking bulldoze or bullnose. Uh, well, I'm saying bullnose the corners. These are called bullnose corners. Yeah, a lot of the newer homes have bullnosed, not bulldozed, uh, corners. So uh, this was a wall that had existing crown moldings on the ceiling on a square cornered wall and they're now bullnosed. So uh, I'll show you the steps that, that I had to go through in order to do this. Okay, step number one is you got to remove the metal corners that, that uh, are on the wall. So I said, I think, uh, maybe, I, maybe I did or didn't, I get these clips a little bit turned around, but basically... <laughs> The um, the metal strip you're looking at is in there. That makes your corner, and you got to pull those out. So this particular wall, the way they put the board in, um, they overlapped it even with the other side of the wall. So you have to cut it back about an inch from each side to pull that metal track out. And just that's what it looks like on the floor, just a mess. But you got to take these strips out, and there there's little nails in there. They tack them in. It's a messy thing, but got to be done so that you can oh you want to take in radius these corners with um maybe like a body file that the auto body file they're real like a rasp and sort of radius it so you can put your plastic corners on or metal corners if you're using metal okay i wanted to point out that not all the corners when you pull off when you pull off the the metal shielding on the corner that gives you that this sharp edge right here not all of them have it. I had this board this this edge here on this corner was flush almost flush with the wall so I had to cut off the corner with uh, an exacto knife and because I wanted less dust and I kind of shaved it with um, one of these rasps files for body filling you do work on an auto body and, and just shave the corner down a little bit so when you put on the the bull nosed plastic oh, these are, are vinyl and I tack them with a nail like right in there in between the holes finish nail and um, and then when I mud over the top of it I look to see that the angle will be flush with the wall or a little bit out from so it'll mud out a little bit, so it won't have a bump on the corner. And then the same thing over here. Um, try to make it to where it's flush with the wall when I, before I tack it up and then finally do a mud over the top of it. That's what I do. So these, uh, can, these strips come in both metal and vinyl. I like the vinyl ones because when people move in, move out, or moving objects in the house, they they usually uh, the metal ones will dent, and then you got to body fill or you got to re putty them back up. These just sort of, you know, flex right back like the bumper on your car. That's why they're making them out of vinyl instead of steel these days. So anyway, that's just a comment. And I'm punching the the finish nail through here on these strips, and uh, when you mud over the top of it, you don't even see it. Just it's um, maybe about an eight inch trowels, and it's all just mudded right in. As I'll show you. You can also use this 3M High Strength 90 to uh, hold the tack strips on, or the bullnose corners on. This is the um, mud that I, I keep calling mud, um, that you use with maybe a 10 or 12 inch trowel. Then you can buy these pieces that fit um, with a bullnosed inside, and it matches the shape of your baseboards. Uh, also your chair rail up on the top, they make them for those as well, as you'll see. Um, in a little bit. Okay, on the crowns uh, where the bull nose comes in contact with the um, base of the of the crown molding on the top, you have to sort of sand those in. And I'll show you finished pictures when I get done. You cannot even tell that there's nothing, no bull nose underneath the crown. So this is kind of the finish uh, look that you'll get on the bullnose corners. Uh, I matched paint. I did texturing prior to painting 
you, know, you buy the spray texturing and just goes on you choose the size texture you want and it blows it out and uh, you don't have to trowel it down or anything it just goes right on let it dry and then paint over it so not quite finished there's still touch-up painting to do on a lot of the areas the finish work um, the the wane sculling here is uh, 30 inches uh, off the floor that to the from the top to the bottom and uh, you can buy these little pieces again for the corners bullnose corners and just some more of the uh, the work I still need to to fill in do some filling on the corners and finish painting again I've got these um, things at Home Depot these little corner pieces cut them in half and made corner pieces out of them that plate was for my dog <laughs> that you saw on the floor okay uh, let's see these still need to be finished finished painting but I wanted to at least get this video out to show you um, start to finish how this uh, was going to come out this is around the front door area and that's where the bullnose meets the the crown molding on the ceiling uh, still needs painting but um, you get the idea of the finish and the look that you could get uh, I really uh, we're really happy with it um, one more thing this well I realize this has been kind of a long video but I do appreciate your watching and um, I hope you'll subscribe to see some more uh, more tips and ideas and things that um, I've come up with um, and uh, that's uh, that's about it this is just some finish work here a 22 and a half degree cut on the crowns and uh, again, thank you for watching.